Hey friends, it's your boy Big TCG Fan coming at you with another video. Today we go back into ranking the set as we go with our next expansion, Exodus. We're still deep in the Weatherlight storyline and this expansion was part of that. It was part of the Tempest block with 143 cards and a mere two legendary creatures. Our streak of small lots of legendary creatures continues so we will not have an honorable mention here as well. In second place, we have Miri, Cat Warrior. For two green and one colorless, you get a 2-3 creature who is a Cat Warrior with First Strike, Force White, Walk, and Vigilance. It's a very nice card for a strong, aggressive, small creature, but Miri just doesn't do much outside of her own to make her more than that. You could do a Voltron ramp deck with Yavimaya Land to give all, forest f all lands forest, but there isn't much else you can do with her. Almost winning by default with having a useful skill, we have Irritai, Wizard Adept. For one blue and two colorless, you get a one-win wizard that you can tap and pay two blue and two colorless to counter any spell. This creature is a great mono-blue control commander, and more often than not, he finds himself in other decks than being the commander. He would be solid, but not great heading up a team, especially since blue tends to be the strongest color. While it does not have the same kick that Stronghold did on Commander, Exodus does have some sweet cards like Survival of the Fittest and Coat of Arms. Thankfully, both of these legendary creatures are reasonably cost, so you can play each easily enough. This concludes my video. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, comment down below. Peace out.